going on guys? Brett Alive back with another video and today we have a Walmart exclusive WWE monster truck. Boom! This is the Stone Cold Steve Austin Austin 316 monster truck. This version of the monster truck is exclusive to Walmart. There is another version of this monster truck that is exclusive to Target. I didn't pick the Target one up only because I don't think that design is as realistic as this one. Steve Austin's actually brought out a monster truck to the arenas before, so I just wanted to keep it accurate for my collection, so I decided to get the Steve Austin monster truck from Walmart. I passed on the Target one. You never know. In the future, if they discount it, I might get the Target one as well, because Target's pretty good when it comes to discounting. As you can see on the front, there's a massive opening of the cardboard. We can see the monster truck bursting out of the cardboard. We can see a Stone Cold Steve Austin figure on the side, and you're able to move his arms when he's in the packaging. I'm not gonna lie, this Steve Austin looks pretty freaking bad, but we are still gonna get out of the box. We're gonna review it in this video. On the side of the packaging, you can see another photo of the monster truck. Of course, it's part of the wrecking line. And then here's a look at the back of the packaging. In the bottom left, you can see all the different parts that break off this monster truck. I hear that even the tires are removable from the rims, and you could put figures in the tires. There's a massive WWE action figure setup going on right here, inspired by Bread Alive. And then over here, we have a Rey Mysterio inside of the tire, dude. Toss Rivals into tire and roll to victory. Kind of a goofy quote. But anyways, we are gonna get this open right now. So without ado, let's do this. And of course, we got the Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's gonna be the first thing we're taking a look at in this video. As you can see, he does have a painted on shirt. says Austin 316. This head scan, in my opinion, I got a little mixed opinions on it. My brother said it was pretty decent. I still think it's kind of mid. I mean, it somewhat resembles Steve Austin. This thing's kind of a block. You're not really gonna get any articulation out of it. It's a block. We don't have that new basic articulation. So honestly, we got this thing for the monster truck. Let's get this freaking thing out of the box. When opening this box, I highly recommend that you go at, at it after this side. Box right there, we have a little bag full of the lights and the, uh, and the uh, looks like a seat, and then there's some sort of ladder, I would assume to get up in the monster truck, so don't forget, you have accessories on this side. We just got the monster truck open, and it does have these little plastic pieces, which I don't know if they're part of it. Maybe it helps stabilize it. I toss them though, they're kind of part of the packaging. But here's our monster truck. Truck. Let's get the rest of this junk off. Right, when you get it out of the packaging, you are left with this little ladder piece that does port in right here on the side of the truck. So it makes it easier for the superstars to get up into the truck. And in this box, which was in the side of the packaging, we get our other tires. Tires and wheels all in one. And we're going to port them in just like so. Looks like you just push. You push down and you just make sure this part here lines up with this here. So we're going to do that. And then it just sort of ports in just like that. Once that is in, our monster truck is almost complete. You get a set of lights that can port into the top of the monster truck right here. There's two little dots similar to that ladder. And now we got some lights that don't work, but of course it does add a little effect to the top of the truck as it's driving through the arena. And then we got two other parts here. We got a little seat for the Superstar, and then we have part of a roll cage. So we're gonna put the seat in first. The seat ports right up in here. And if you could see, there's four studs down there. There's four holes, and there's only two on the chair. So what this means is, if you have a bigger Superstar that you wanna fit in the monster truck, you could send the seat far back, or you could have it a little closer, depending on how tall your superstar is. And then the roll cage piece on the box, it says that it has to go in the back, but you can put it in the front and make it part of the windshield. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you guys want. I kind of like it in the front, but yes, it is meant for the back. And when I first saw this thing in person at WrestleMania, I wasn't too excited for it. I was like, eh, the proportions are kind of odd, but getting it in hand, this thing is more accurate than I freaking thought. The size is absolutely massive. It definitely packs a punch. First, we're gonna go through the detail and then I'm gonna show you all the features. Once again, this is the Walmart exclusive one. This isn't the Target one, so on the Target one, there are different logos, there's different colors. This is the Walmart one. On the side, it does say 316 for Stone Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin with a nice white outline. It says Austin over here, WWE logo. It would have been cool if that was the Scratch logo because Austin, when he had the monster truck, I would assume it would have been like a Scratch logo at the time. But it's still cool. There's a little ledge right here where you can climb through the window. The doors don't open, and I'll show you why they don't in a second here. On the front, you guys can see some nice sticker detail going on. You got some headlights, which obviously don't work. And then you got the grill, the license plate. Just happens to say Reckon. You got the freaking open headers up here, which look wild. And then there's a WWE logo on the engine. So I guess it's a WWE engine, which is kind of interesting. On the back. 
back there's sort of like a truck bed going on but you can't really do anything up there there are some studs up here so you could prop some action figures on there but you know it's it's not the crazy it's just a little platform on the top I kind of already showed it but these are the lights and if you want to break it off you can use it for weapons same logos on the other side of the truck just the difference is we do have that ladder which I kind of already showed you could have a figure climb up in there and then moving down to the suspension look at these three stacked shocks right here looking absolutely wild tooling that happened there's a little hook on the back so if you want to like tow some of your other wrecking vehicles you can do that which is pretty freaking interesting you get some like string you do a little customizing you could definitely make that happen so if i got a decent sized hand right there is the tire compared to my hand this thing is nice rubber material so it does make it so you can tear off the tire bro this is the biggest tire we've ever seen from mattel it is a hundred percent rubber and yes you can put a figure in it on the box this Rey Mysterio figure right here was displayed in this tire, so I'm gonna test that theory. Does this Rey Mysterio fit inside of this tire? It's gonna be a tight fit, but he does! My boy Ray Ray fits in the tire. You can roll him around. You can roll around Ray as he's in this dang tire. Reminds me of grown ups. I do really like how the tires are removable. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You could even do like really cool posing photos with these of people like super, superstars working out, doing some nice cardio, lifting this tire, you know. You could really do some cool stuff with this tire. Let's wreck in this thing. First off, on the top, we got the light. The reason why the door doesn't open is because this entire panel you can tear off. This panel comes off, that's the right side. You can't have the right side coming off without the left side coming off. Boom, just like that, you could tear it off, use it as a weapon for your figures. Once again, kind of already showed it, but this is like part of the um, roll cage that you can put in the front, put in the back. It does break off. The seat does pull out. There's some really nice texture there, looking really clean on this seat. Before we continue with the destruction, the interior of the truck looks really nice. There's some nice buttons on the side. You could see this nice steering wheel, which does adjust up and down once again to the height and size of the wrestling figure that you want in the truck. The coolest feature to this monster truck, and I didn't even know it was part of this truck when I unboxed it, this open header engine right here, check it out. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom! There is a button. This thing right here is made out of a button, and when you press it, it launches a figure. There's a little platform right here. There's two feet marks in this platform and you could place a wrestling figure's feet right in there. Just like that we got the Ray Ray in the position up there and we are gonna launch him. Just like that! You could launch him up in the air and yes that was take one when I caught him. On the side of the truck the ladder does break off so you have a little ladder you can use for destruction. The tires, all of them, all of the tires are removable. That's two. Here's three, and there's freaking four. All the tires are removable, and then you're just left with some rims. And now, let's roll this thing around and knock over some figures. Boom! I have it in my arena right now, and look at this. He can fully drive over Kevin Owens, just like that. This monster truck can literally scale the barricade. It could scale my crowd if it really wanted to, if I wanted to knock down my entire crowd. Awesome suspension going on, which looks great. It rolls amazing. It's got some heft to it. So if you want to knock down some figures, make it happen, make it fun. On the top, boom! And you can launch the parts up in the air, put the feet in there, and then you just launch them up in the air, which is a really cool feature. That has been the review on the WWE Mattel Reckon Walmart exclusive Stone Cold Crusher monster truck. I really hope you guys enjoyed the review. This wasn't sponsored by Mattel, but I do think this is a really awesome playset, and I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Even if you're an adult collector, this is a great display piece for a stone cold shelf. It would be great for setups. If you're a kid, obviously this is going to be a lot of fun to play with. It is $50 here in the United States, but I do think it is worth it. You get a basic, you get the monster truck itself. It's a lot of fun. It is big. Here it is right next to my chest. Like this thing is pretty freaking big, man. And it is a lot of fun. I do recommend it. And I will see you guys next time for the next review video. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bird Alive is out.